Hello everybody, Mr. Polly here. I'm with my two helpers, Yanni and Enoch, and they're both from 4A, and they're going to be uh, reading with me today. Do you want to say anything in introduction, or are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Yeah, same here. You're supposed to say, I was born ready. I was born ready. Nice. Okay, so today we're actually going to be reading a newspaper article yeah. about archaeology. Mm. And then chatting about it a bit. Okay. So, Yanni, would you like to start off with this top paragraph here, please? Dinosaur fun. A type of fossil we are able to dig up is a dinosaur fossil, but finding them takes time and a lot of careful work. If you want to try your hands at it, there are a few workshops and summer camps that teach you how to find and take care of fossils. You know? Okay. Dinosaur workshops. As summer vacation has been cut short this year, it is a bit difficult to go to summer camp, but our shopping center is working with Big Bang Academy to hold STEM workshops and summer camps. And this year's theme is about dinosaurs. Kids can dig for dinosaur fossils, like skeletons and teeth. For a more adventurous, you can create a planet and a volcanic eruption. There are many lessons, including one on how to, on how dinosaurs became extinct. Dinosaurs were a group of animals that lived billions of years ago. When humans first discovered these fossils, they thought dinosaurs were like reptiles. Centuries later, scientists have found dinosaur fossils that had feathers. Nowadays, many scientists think dinosaurs are the ancestors of birds and that dinosaurs, like birds, were able to move about freely and quickly. Can we stop for a sec? I found a mistake on this newspaper article. What? Can you find it? It's a really, really big issue, actually, for me. Billions of years ago? It's not true. Dinosaurs went around billions of years ago. Oh, yeah. They were millions of years ago. Oh, oh hang on. Right? There's a big difference between a billion and a million, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like something like, was it four zeros between it? Hey. Yeah. So the Earth was made four billion years ago. Something like that, right? And life only appeared, what, really? like one, less than a billion years ago, something like 64 that? 64 million? 64 million is probably more than that, right? Okay. Yeah. So there's one more paragraph. I believe it's Enoch's turn. Okay. Studying bones. Humans discovered dinosaur fossils in the ancient times. At first, we thought they were the bones of monsters. Then in the 19th century, Charles Darwin wrote a book about evolution called On the Origin of Species, which sparked an interest in dinosaurs. And when they first roamed Earth, paleontologists which is what fossil experts are called, can estimate how an old fossil is using a technique called carbon dating. Mm, so actually this, this paragraph is quite difficult. So this is the word paleontologist. Paleontologist. Yeah, those are the people that study fossils. Ooh. Well, what about historians? A historian... Study history. Yeah, exactly. Ah. So actually, usually a historian will look at human history. Human. Yeah. I believe there is something called a natural historian. Mm -hmm. But usually that's quite specialised, right? Isn't the natural historian someone that studies old nature? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? So hold on, let's have a let's have a chat about some of the things in here then. So okay. have you guys ever seen a fossil? Yes. When, I watched I've watched many YouTube videos. Of uh, this guy who like searches for dinosaur fossils in this like summer camp in California. Oh, okay. But are they real? Yeah. Okay. What kind of fossils have you seen on there then? Like uh, from what kind of dinosaurs? Like he's one. He's <laughs> like he has found a uh, like it was like a T Rex like that. Like a what? like a fossil of a T Rex, you know, skull. It was the whole skull. Yeah. No, I think that was too big. Yeah. I saw it in this YouTube video. That's, okay. that's huge. No. You haven't seen any fossils, Yanni? No. Okay. Are you guys interested in 
paleontology at all? A little bit, I know. A little bit. What do you think a day in the life of a paleontologist is like? Um, you know, just stay in the lab. There's one thing to say, work. Okay. <laughs> True. Yanni said just stay in the lab. Yeah. Stay in the lab. I think, I think it's the absolute opposite to that. All of these things, when, you, when you're a paleontologist, you spend most of your day outside cool. doing what? Uh, digging up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But think about it as well, right? These fossils are pretty old, right? Yeah. So do you think you just get stuck in with a spade, a bucket and spade like you do at the beach? No. No? No? What can you, uh, what can you tell me about how a paleontologist might dig up fossils? Um. You know those construction thing like they use. are you joking like I don't they know. Would, like, <laughs> uh, like they would use like a shovel right shovel and then when okay. they and then like when they hit, hit something really hard they would use the brush to see right because it's really old and it you know it might just break and it's worth nothing anymore oh uh, it's not about the value i think yeah not not nowadays but yeah like i i think if you're digging for um say like a dinosaur bone right mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not going to be right at the top soil, right? It's going to be very really deep. Really when they start out, as Yanni said, they'll bring in a big JCB, like one of the bigger vehicles, which will <laughs> dig out the top soil, right? Mm -hmm. And then... Start the shovel. I guess. But you have to be careful when you get down to a certain level, right? Yeah. yeah because you get really hard. Exactly. Exactly. So at that point, you have to be super careful. So. I actually had a friend who, who tried to be an archaeologist before. Ooh. That's the people that dig up like old human stuff. Yeah. And he said he spent most of his days in a hole in the ground in oh, the rain yeah. digging. Oh, I feel bad. And what did he find? Bits of pots. Old pots. Like flower pots and uh, oh, wow. jars and stuff. Yeah, but they were old. Oh, did he old? sell them? No, and about uh, Roman times, so probably about okay, now that is cool. a thousand, more than a thousand years old. Ooh. But it's, it's like just a bit of pot, isn't it? It's a pot? Yeah, like a... Like you've seen those flower pots, right? The reddish kind of flower yeah. pots. Yeah. Oh. They look like that. Oh. Do you think that would be interesting? Yeah. So, guys. I know a lot of you are interested in history and yeah. um, dinosaurs, so if you have any cool information to share or some interesting stuff, then you can <laughs> you can uh, like. drop by and say hello and talk to me about it, yeah. or you can talk to Enoch about it, or you can talk to uh, Miss Yanni about it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So guys, you want to do all the YouTube spiel? Remember to smash that like button. Oh yeah, remember to smash that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe and also share this to your loved ones. And also turn on the notifications. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Nothing else. Right, we watch too much. I'll have to, I'll have to edit the end now. You know, like muttering to each other.